Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel Electronics Maddy. In this video, I am going to demonstrate the closed loop simulation of buck converter in MATLAB. In case you have not subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe to it. Uh, only then you will get the latest updates with respect to the videos that we post in MATLAB. Alright, so closed loop simulation of buck converter. So this is a circuit that we are going to simulate in MATLAB just to give you an overview of what is the type of components that we're using. I'm just showing the circuit diagram. Um, design and uh, simulation of buck converter is open loop is already simulated. So we'll be following the same design procedure. In case you have not watched that video, please do watch it. It will be available in the end screen as well as the link will be provided in the description. Once you watch that, the closed loop will be an extension of it. However, I'll be showing you the entire process behind open loop and closed look so uh, once we have the circuit diagram in hand let's get started let's go to map all right here we are click on simulink library browser and we'll be searching for the blocks that we want one of the extraordinary features in simulink library browser is the ability to search the components that we want add that block we need a voltage measurement block as well so add that as well uh, we need a dc voltage source which is acting as a supply so choose the one that is there in black add that and uh, apart from that we need a switch which is basically a mosfet that is used in our case uh, we can use IGBT as well depending upon uh, the requirement uh, you cannot use thyristor because we need an external commutation circuit and it's very difficult to perform that operation so once this is added we need a series RLC um, branch so search for that and you'll be getting it right at the top uh, once series RLC branch is added we will be requiring a scope in order to see how the waveform looks like so search for scope and add that um, in the feedback loop, we will be requiring a constant block which is used as a reference. So search for reference uh, or you can search as a constant directly. If you search as reference, you will be getting some other thing. So search as constant and add this constant block. And once that is done, uh, we will be requiring uh, a difference block. Uh, so that will be obtained if you search by sum or difference either ways. So subtract is the operation that we'll be doing. So use that block. Uh, we'll be using a PID controller. So search for controller directly, you will be getting a PID controller right at the top so in yes domain so choose the ones uh, once that is done uh, we will be requiring a PWM generator uh, for closed loop operation so this basically gives the pulses for the um, switches that are used so PWM generator DC to DC be very careful with choosing this there are a lot of different types as well so once this is added I guess we have added all the blocks that we want with respect to our circuit so we will be placing them in appropriate positions so that we can get started with our circuit connection all right uh, so once this is placed one of the most important things to do is to double click on this and disable the measurement port so we know the buck converter uh, is basically uh, used in order to convert dc to dc voltage however it will step down the voltage at the output terminals isn't it so uh, we will be connecting in this particular fashion uh, across a circuit okay and in addition we also need a diode so search for diode so uh, we missed that one so search for diode and scroll a little down it will be available over here so add that block it should be uh, connected in this particular fashion isn't it for freewheeling action to take place so double click on it and uh, disable the measurement port over here so so once that is done uh, we will be uh, using an inductor at this point so choose the value of inductor to be equal to 85 uh, we'll be setting up 85 into 10 power minus 6 according to uh, the design that we have chosen so it is indicated in one of our previous videos as well so please do watch it in case you have not watched it so we'll be rotating this the value of capacitance that we're choosing is 125 uh, microfarad so choose capacitance and change it value change the value to be equal to 125 microfarad and once that is done connect it in this particular fashion uh, we will be giving it to the DC supply and uh, free willing diode should be connected between these two points so our supply voltage uh, that we are giving with respect to our circuit is uh, 48 volts and uh, we are supposed to get around 16 volts 15 to 16 volts at the output terminals so we will be requiring a resistive load so uh, double click on it and uh, we'll be changing its value to be equal to 8 ohms and uh, connect the circuit in this particular fashion over here so once this is done uh, we will be measuring the output voltage between these two points connect it across the load which is basically a resistor in this case and uh, give it to the scope so the output voltage is compared 
so let us say we want 15 volt at the output terminal let us enter that voltage that we want over here so a lot of confusions arises with respect to this i've seen a lot of students asking a lot of questions with respect to this so be very careful with respect to closer loop part so we are designing it for a voltage of 15 volt so we are setting the reference voltage to be equal to 15 volt consequently it is given to the pad controller this will uh, take this uh, input is basically duty ratio the output of pad controller will decide the duty ratio and consequently it will generate pulses this pulses is given as input to the gate terminal the duty ratio specified will be between 0 to 1 consequently the pulses are produced pad controller is used to improve the response of the system like if the waveform is having a, a lot of deviations with respect to the required one it will uh, improve the performance so i'll only be using an integral controller and uh, i'm not concerned with respect to proportional derivative parts only change the value of integral uh, controller so you can design it according to uh, your requirements requirement based on transfer function approach so uh, based on that I've chosen to be equal to 7 in this case and once this is done um, I have uh, entered my input voltage as well so what we will be doing is we'll be uh, running this circuit and check what is the waveform associated with each of these portion so that we will get a clarity of what is the de deviation with respect to each of these portions and only then you will understand what closed loop operation performs isn't it so let us enlarge this a little bit and then I'll be uh, connecting um another uh, portion at this point as how it looks like uh, and we'll get a clear picture of it so now i will be uh, setting up the simulation time to be equal to one second i'll click on run let's uh, check the output waveform uh, by double clicking on the scope all right now we'll check the waveform by double clicking on the scope so i have set this such that it looks in four different windows you can try that as well so we will be zooming in the voltage at the output terminals so over here if you carefully observe it is approximately equal to 15 volts uh, however there is some ripple but doesn't matter it is close to 15 volt isn't it and uh, the difference between 15 volt and 15 volt is taken and it is approximately equal to zero uh, some some amount of value that is there and consequently the duty ratio over here this is the duty ratio slightly above 0.1 which is given as the input to the uh, block pwm generator block and these are the pulses that are generated the width of the pulses is in this particular fashion now uh, let us change the switching frequency according to our design we have chosen the switching frequency to be equal to 40 kilohertz isn't it according to our circuit uh, so uh, we will be uh, running it now by setting the switching frequency to be equal to 40 kilohertz and let us uh, check how the wave all right now we'll click on the scope double click on the scope in order to see the waveform and uh, we'll be zooming a specific portion in this particular uh, this thing so this is how the response the waveform slightly improves with respect to the previous one uh, in order to design it for higher switching frequencies so uh, now one important thing how do we say that it is closed loop operation isn't it so there will be a lot of questions with respect to how do we justify it is in closed loop now let let us do one thing let us change the supply voltage let us change it to be equal to 30 volt now even if we change the supply voltage as 30 volt consequently the voltage that we have to get is 15 volt is it possible yes it is possible based on the amount of voltage that we want is set in the reference it will generate the pulses such that it will generate 15 volt at the output irrespective of the supply voltage so now let us uh, click on run and check how the waveform at the output varies and what is the output voltage that we are getting all right now let's double click on the scope and check how the waveform is so if you see i'm just zooming in a specific portion the ripples keep changing nevertheless you're still getting 15 volt isn't it so over here if you carefully observe approximately 15 volt and it is slightly above zero it looks like it is uh, exactly at zero but it is slightly above zero we can observe that uh, by using this uh, vertical zoom option over here in this particular way um, so it is moving slightly above zero consequently there will be uh, pulses the the pulses will be generated in this particular uh, fashion so i can zoom out this zoom in this particular portion and uh, see the pulses so these are the pulses that are generated so the pulses are adjusted such that you get 15 volt that is the main logic behind closed loop operation so now irrespective of the 
the voltage uh, that you are changing with respect to the input terminals uh, however there should be certain tolerance you cannot change it to any value but there will be certain range so based on that the output voltage still will remain constant if you want to design it for 20 volt or 25 volt uh, or 22 volt or 23 change it to that particular value you will still be getting the same value of output voltage that you want so this is how we will establish a closer loop control using an integral controller and a PWM generated at the output I hope you have understood the concept behind simulating a buck converter in closer loop mode in case you like this video please do like it share it and subscribe to our channel for regular updates thanks for watching this video please do keep supporting